Hi, this is Daniel Shanahan from New Leaf Data, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how NLD grids could be used to create clean, organized, and balanced layouts. For this demo, let's suppose we have a client that wants to update her invoice layout. I've met with a client and I have a list of things she wants on the layout. I've created a couple of mockups and showed her. More discussion and we've settled on the one you see here. For our design, I can simplify this mock-up into five simple rectangles. The first thing I'll do is create a new layout and change the theme. Now I want to go to NLD Grids and select the grid design for my client's screen resolution, which is 1280. There isn't an exact match for this mockup we've chosen, but this one is essentially the same, and I'll show how easy it is to modify the design for our needs. I'll enter Find Mode and copy the grid objects, and then paste them onto my new layout. To set FileMaker's layout grid, I'll need the numbers for the major spacing and the minor steps. So I'll go back to NLD Grids and navigate to the 1280 base layout. Here are the numbers I need for the inspector. Now I can show the grid and snap to grid. The next thing I want to do is grab the billing fields. I'll go to the original layout, select and copy. Before adding anything, I want to make sure I lock the rectangular grid objects. Now I can paste these fields and line them with the right edge of the rectangular grid object. I need to change the formatting of these fields to that of the theme. Now I'm ready to grab the shipping fields and do the same thing. Remember that our mock-up shapes had these two thinner rectangle objects at the top. It's really easy to switch these. The trick is to align the top and bottom edges with the vertical rectangle object on the left.
Once everything is in place, I want to lock them again. Now I can grab the invoice line items and paste those onto the new layout. Again, I want to align the fields and portals to the edges of the charcoal rectangle object that came from NLD grids. For the sake of time, I've already added the Previous Invoices section in the lower left. Now I'll add the first and last invoice fields, as well as the lowest and highest. Again, always making sure that I align the edges to the NLD grid object. I'm ready to take a look at the layout in browse mode. I'll tidy up the stacked fields so they have a round edge only at the top and the bottom. One more look in browse mode. Now I'm ready to remove the NLD grid objects. And I see I have a remnant from the original layout, so I'll get rid of that. And I didn't follow my own aligning instructions for the billing fields. But that's easy to solve, since I did align the first and highest fields. I can simply pull down a guide and align the billing fields that way. And there it is. A new layout with clean lines and a strong balance, thanks to NLD Grids.